Hey everyone, this is Freedom Hunter AJ Raven and uh, Mortal Kombat Legends uh, Scorpion's Revenge is currently available for you to purchase digitally. Uh, what, it's also supposed to come out on Blu-ray and DVD uh, on the 24th if I'm not mistaken but yeah you can watch it digitally right now. Warner Bros ended up sending me a screener for review. So, however, the opinions that I'll be sharing in this video are my own. I'll also be working on a written review of, of this for the Geek Eerie. The link to that will be down in the comment section below. I also ended up buying uh, the, digit, 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 the digital version of this movie because, yeah, I, I want to support this, for, uh, this animated film because I want it to continue and I want this to be a franchise. Also, I won't be doing my normal reaction video because I've already seen the screener. However, I'll be using my own purchased uh, digital copy and I'll be going through uh, some of the scenes that I really liked. And you can consider this, uh, this video as a recap and kind of a review video where I go over some of the highlights and you can decide whether or not you want to watch this film. And then Scorpion comes in and you can see that this film is going to have some comedic elements in it. So be prepared for that. So basically this is a scene where we see a Scorpion fighting off an army of ants. This is Scorpion before he became Scorpion. Basically, uh, he's talking about willpower, that because of his will, he won't never give up. And when they come back to their village, it's already under attack. Everyone's dead, little kid. They really do make use of the R rating, and, and I appreciated that a lot. There are a whole lot of awesome fight sequences in there, full of gore and blood and violence. As a Mortal Kombat animated movie should be. Just look at that. The extra vision from the game. This is where he ends up finding out that his wife is dead. Now, I'm not a big fan of the character design because if you guys can look closely, I do not like the shading that's happening on the cheekbones, that's happening on the knuckles of certain characters. The animation style could have been different, but as far as the entire movie is concerned, it's very dynamic, it's very fast. So I'll give them points for that and now that he knows that his wife is dead, he's going to go into berserker mode and this is where, yeah, just be ready for a whole lot of gore. And he's lost it. <laughs> like I said, R rating. Yeah. Yeah, amazing, amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. The blood also splatters on the, on the screen. And if you look at the extra content, uh, there was an entire featurette where they talked about uh, trying to find uh, sound effects for the blood and all of the like, like these slashes and cuts. So the so the team had fun trying to figure out how splattered blood would sound like. Yeah, cold sub zeros here. However, we all know, those who are familiar with the lore, that is not actually Sub-Zero. And they're like, yeah, we better run. <laughs> this is a very, very amazing scene. I was like, the kid's going to die, no matter what you do. Yeah, this won't help. And the kid's dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the show that they didn't show it in its entirety, but they did show this. Satoshi. Yeah, Satoshi's Satoshi. dead. Ugh. Ah, love it. He ends up killing him as well. Yeah, extra vision. So here you have it. This was a Scorpion's backstory in animated form. And now he's dead and now he'll end up turning into Scorpion and coming out for revenge. And now we have Liu Kang training and he notices that someone is already in his temple. And again, with the animation, I do not like the cheek, the shading on the cheek, the shading on uh, the knuckles, but yeah. Someone's here, he notices it. Anyone would notice it when the candles like go out like that. So you can tell from the silhouette that uh, it's, it's Raiden, you can tell. Yeah, it's Raiden. And Raiden basically tells him that it's time, it's time for Mortal Kombat. 
This is Raiden's team. We have Johnny Cage, of course. Again, again with the shading. It's it's not good. It's too much. The other person on Raiden's team is uh, Sonia Blade. And this is Sonia Blade battling someone in Hong Kong, if I'm correct. There has been some criticism about Sonia Blade's uh, character design. I'm not a fan of it, but it kind of fits the the hard hardcore look that this animated film is going for. So she kind of fits in it with her long face and more uh, masculine features, especially because she is a fighter. Like there is femininity in her, but she's also a whole lot of masculinity in her because again, she is a fighter. She is a fighter who ends up fighting supernatural beings. Yeah, Sonia Blade, her dog tags. And this is where we get a flashback, uh, Captain Marvel uh, style, where we see her doing her best in the military. And she's going to get up and of course she's going to win the fight. You're gonna try. You're gonna try. <laughs> The animation, the fight choreography, it's good. It's very fluid, very fast. And she's like, dah, 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 dah. I like that scene. And she's like, you know what? It's done. It's done. You better, you better stay down. A normal person would be dead. But okay, Sonia, he's alive. He's not dead, I guess. This is Scorpion, basically in hell. And then he'll end up escaping from here and then he'll meet up uh, Quinchi. I don't understand why he's wearing the loincloth. I don't think he should have been wearing that but okay. He ends up fighting a whole lot of these demons. Yeah, he's like minus one. Which is basically uh, a callback to the scorpion fighting an army of ants. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to happen. Quincy is like, boop. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't defeat me in my own realm. Yeah. In my realm, no less. You may be a vengeful spirit. So he's the one who ends up giving, uh, who turn, who ends up turning him into Scorpion because he wants him to take revenge on uh, Sub Zero, who will be attending the tournament as well. And he also wants uh, Hanzo to steal a key. Uh, from the temple. <laughs> Johnny thinks that they're shooting uh, for a movie. And Sonia is like not interested. And I'm like, Sonia, you'll end up marrying him. You'll end up having a kid with him. You'll end up divorcing him. And maybe getting back together. So these are all the other contestants for Mortal Kombat. And yeah, supernatural beings. So I have no idea how a pair of humans like Sonia and Johnny Cage are even able to stand a chance against them. Dax here, this is who uh, Sonia wants to save. Yeah. But we are going to have a very bloody battle between Jax and Goro. And we'll get a backstory behind how Jax ended up losing his arms. This is Raiden telling Scorpion that he shouldn't go and steal the key because Scorpion is now free. He doesn't have to do what Quinchi wants. This is the key that has the crazy guard in it. And Jack lost his both his arms, both of his arms. And Sonia can't do anything. Yeah. Ugh. Finish him. And Raiden comes in and he's like, the tournament hasn't started yet, so why are you doing this? And because Raiden is a guard, no one can really mess with him. He ends up healing uh, Jax, saving his life. Goro, yeah, so he's like, go away, Goro. So the first fight is Johnny Cage's. And yeah, humans again against supernatural beings. He doesn't necessarily fight. He basically uh, blows up the entire place. Eat me, buttercup. 
So Johnny Cage has won the fight and, net, and the next fight is going to be uh, Sonia. Sonia's opponent is someone invisible which... Yeah, that, that's tough. This is what Sonia does. She acts like she's tired in order for the opponent to let their guard down and then she attacks. She's like, I'll use a gun if I have to, but no. And of course he can spit like this acid and yeah, Sonia has to run, she has to regroup, she has to think how to take him down. And this is where she notices that she can make a like sense where he is because of the mud on him. Now this scene, I ended up watching it twice, just the animation and the way Sonia ends up taking him down. Like she comes in with a kick, he picks her up, throws her, and this is where Sonia is like, you know what, end this, just look at that. And she's like, whoop, and... Yeah, and he ends up uh, slicing his neck off. And here we have uh, Liu Kang's fight with uh, Katana. Her name's Katana, right? Yeah. And of course he can easily beat her. And he's like, yeah, stay down. He doesn't kill her, of course he doesn't. She's an iconic character in the Mortal Kombat series. This is such a cheesy line. What? Hope. 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 Like, oh, okay. So mercenaries are on the island, which of course is his fault. But he's like, Raiden, are you accusing me? You have no proof. And yeah. Okay. This was too much, but okay. And they hear Scorpion killing the mercenaries, so they no, go no, in to check what happened. Let me just pee out some blood. Uh, so that was too much, Sonia. That was too much. So yeah, Scorpion is taking care of the mercenaries. And this is where Liu Kang, Sonia, and, and uh, Johnny end up seeing that this is an opponent, opponent as well. Stay behind me. I'll take care of this. What is this, 1950? Step back, Bruce Lee. Bring it, bitch. <laughs> And Johnny's like, we don't have to fight. We don't have to fight. Mm -hmm. That's not happening. The three of them are almost at the final battle. And this is where Kano comes in with his mercenaries and an another fight ensues. And Scorpion ends up helping them. <laughs> the, yeah, the fight sequences. The extra vision is just awesome. He takes three, three heads, pulls them off. Come on, pull them off. Yeah, and then he ends up rolling them. It's a very, yeah, ugh. Of course he teleports because he can teleport. Sonia comes in, she's like, Johnny, stay down, you can't fight. I'll handle this. Yeah. <laughs> and Johnny's okay with it. Johnny's okay with it. And he's like, yeah, I need to take these people down. Shoo. <laughs> Kano comes in with the guns. And someone needs to take him down. And the actual Sub-Zero appears. And Sub-Zero's like, what the heck did I do? Because because people familiar with the lore know that it wasn't Sub-Zero who uh, killed uh, Hanzo's family. He has no idea what you're talking about. And he ends up killing himself with him. Because he got his revenge. And they get pierced. Yeah. So Sonia has to go after Kano. And this is where Johnny's like, you know what? Yeah. I guess I don't mind having my balls crushed. <laughs> By her, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> this is where he tells them that it was him. I killed them. Yeah. He used sorcery. But not in 
and then he was also able to use uh, Sub Zero's ice powers. It makes no sense. For some reason, he remembers the Scorpion's will, and he is able to free himself, which. Okay, uh, and he ends up releasing these uh, demons which Sonia has to make her way through and it's going to be tough. I mean, these are too many opponents for Sonia to- yeah. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> so he's ready to take down Goro and it won't work in his favor. Just look at that. Yeah, he needs to he needs to be serious about it. Goro isn't an opponent you take lightly. Sonia isn't doing well. Which means that of course Johnny is going to come in and save her. And the change in the music. Just notice that. <laughs> the change in the music. So now these two are going to work together to defeat the opponents right, and save Jax. Yeah, so now they're going to attack Team X. I don't know what happened to the blood on Sonia's face, but it disappeared. He's trying, he's trying his best to take down Goro, but Goro's too, uh, too powerful. He's way too powerful. And now Goro has become serious and yeah, he, he's done for. Goro's too powerful, yeah. So this is the moment Sonia goes in to take down Kano and she I think picks up an axe, yeah, a weapon and he's able to... Now this is what I don't get, he punches her, she like, how high did he punch her? It, it's weird. Goro's going to rip uh, all of his limbs and I was like, what's going to happen? Is he going to... yeah, this was too much. He basically lost. And Scorpion comes in to save him. Yep. And of course, he doesn't attack him. He goes for him. And he's like, give me the key. Yeah, give him the key. So Earth won. Earth is saved. Yeah. And he's telling Shang Tsung to go and run away to uh, Shao Kahn. Yeah. With Shang Tsung not being here, the realm is going to uh, deteriorate. So they need to get out of here as quickly as possible. Yeah. And while they're running away, a Scorpion is going to have his final battle with Quan Chi. And of course, Scorpion wins against Quan Chi. He's like, boom. Which basically makes sense because he, Quan Chi isn't in his realm, so he isn't as powerful as he was before. And he took away his arms. He broke his spine. Oh, so, so much. Get over here! And now he takes away his head. Yeah. Burn it all up. Okay. That's how Scorpion got his revenge. Is that it? Did we win? <laughs> yeah, you did. Alright! Yeah! <laughs> uh, may I? Yeah. All yeah. Right. <laughs> mm. Oh. Okay. okay. So he's the chosen one and he needs to defeat Shao Kahn. Khan. And I am here for a sequel. I need a sequel. I need a sequel. Yeah. And for all. That was the animated movie. I'll be doing a written review of this for the Geek Geary. Again, as I said, you can go ahead and buy it right now on digital. I think it's like uh, $20 on Amazon Prime and I really hope they make a sequel. I would like this franchise to continue and this will, if this served as a good introduction uh, to the franchise to even newer fans, especially because we do have a live action Mortal Kombat coming out next year. But yeah, let me know if you guys have watched it, what you thought of it down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed and I'll see you guys later.